Hey everyone, Steve from the Endless Fear Forms. Uh, I just might do it. I thought I might do a quick video uh, showing my little discharge setup here. So right now I'm discharging a uh, Turnigy 5 amp hour. So basically I fully charged it up, balanced it best I can, and uh, I got my little load bank here. Uh, I've totally forgot what the resistors are now. It's been a while since I've uh, installed these on there. Um, so yeah, uh, basically as you guys may have seen in my earlier video, um, if I put my if I put them all in series, basically on my i charger I can pull about 10 amps. But then I added this extra wire here, which lowers the resistance from here there and I believe I can't remember I think these are half an ohm each a quarter ohm I can't remember actually one tenth of an ohm yeah that's right so they're very low in resistance and uh, so basically what I do is after about a minute I connect my cable there and it lowers brings me down to almost 30 amps and uh, yeah this is a very quick way to discharge so I got to do a couple packs before I put them on my bike. I like to see what performance they're giving. And yeah, so we're at 14.5. Almost four, yeah, well, almost 1500 MA. And it's a nice load. It's a uh, good to see. You can actually watch them as they they drop under the discharge and what's weaker and what's stronger. So, so this pack's pretty good. Yeah, and it's really quick. Like you can see, I'm almost at four minutes, and you know, almost at halfway of the pack, which is pretty crazy. I mean, like probably within 15 minutes, I could uh, discharge my pack. So <laughs> the resistors are smoking up a little bit. You can actually see the smoke there. <laughs> so I don't think they've ever really been run that uh, high capacity before, but hopefully nothing melts. I gotta let you know, I'll let you guys know if it does. Thanks.